My name is Tim Sutinen from privacyproshop.com. There seems to be some confusion among new Session Messenger users about usernames in Session Messenger. In this video, I hope to clear up some of those misconceptions. There are three types of names in Session. Display names, nicknames, and Session ONS names. The first type of name is the display name or the name you choose when you first set up session and it asks you to enter a display name. You can type anything you want in that field and that's what will show up in your profile when you click on the top left corner in the session desktop or session mobile app. When you send a message to someone, the recipient will see that name as the person who is wanting to talk to them under message requests. You can change your display name at any time and when you change your display name, it also gets changed with everyone who has you as a contact if they haven't assigned a nickname to you. The second type is a nickname, which is what you can set for any of the people you're having conversations with. For instance, if a person's display name is Dan, and you have two Dans you communicate with on session, you might want to change one or both of their nicknames. You could set the first Dan's nickname to Dan Jones, while the second Dan could be nicknamed Dan Smith. When you set a nickname, that name stays even if the contact changes their display name to something else. Display names and nicknames are only for display and ease of identification purposes. They can't be used to contact people on session. That's where the third kind of name, Session ONS name, comes to play. ONS stands for Oxen Name System, which is a naming system built into the Oxen cryptocurrency blockchain. A session ONS name makes it easy to make the initial contact on session. For instance, when you send a message to me, all you need to know is my ONS name, which is Privacy Pro Shop, instead of having to know my 66 character hexadecimal session ID. In some ways, Session ONS name is a privacy feature, as then you can simply verbally tell your session name instead of having to share the session ID with potentially insecure ways such as text messaging or email. When you buy an ONS name with Oxen cryptocurrency, the name is recorded in the Oxen blockchain and linked to your session ID and your Oxen wallet address. The price of an ONS name is 7 Oxen at this time. If you don't own Oxen Crypto and want a Session ONS name, you can buy a name with most major credit cards or cryptocurrencies at privacyproshop.com. The whole process takes only a few minutes. I have a video on how you can buy your own Session name at privacyproshop.com and it's somewhere up here. Check it out! An ONS name could also be described as a human-readable alias of your session ID. You can have as many ONS names as you want linked to a single session ID. Or you can buy the names as gifts for your friends and family and link the names to your friends' session IDs. Those names stay under your control unless you also assign the ownership to a wallet that is not in your control. You could even purchase a derogatory session ONS name like what a jerk and link it to a session ID used by someone you don't like. Or you could purchase multiple session ONS names as a speculative investment and once the planned ONS name marketplace starts, you could list your names for sale for potential profit. Session is still in its infancy, so many common names, even two-letter names, are still available for purchase. A Session ONS name doesn't get advertised anywhere, so when you buy a Session ONS name, your display name doesn't change to match the new Session ONS name. If you wish to show off your new ONS name, you can change your display name to match your ONS name, or you can explicitly say something like what I have done in my display name, where I show privacyproshop.com and then in parentheses ONS Privacy Pro Shop. 
That might be useful if you frequent session communities and you wish the members of the communities to be able to send you direct messages. You can search for available session ONS names at the Oxen Blockchain Explorer, which is located at oxen.observer or overlooking it at blocks.loki. You can search for ONS names and the linked session ID and Oxen wallet addresses are also shown. But you can't search for Oxen IDs or wallet addresses and see the names linked to them. I guess that you could do some kind of dictionary search attack against the Blockchain Explorer to find all dictionary names and their linkings, but that would take a long time and it wouldn't find any non-dictionary names. ONS also has wallet names and Lokinet domain names, so those are shown on the search too. So hopefully this helps you understand what the three different session name types are. If you're interested in privacy, session, Lokinet, Oxen Network, and other open source computing topics, please check out some of the other videos on this channel. That's all she wrote. Have a happy day.